So you've installed Typhon Wallet, and what you want to do now is pair it with your hardware wallet, like your Ledger or your Trezor. Let's take a look at how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how we can pair either the Ledger or the Trezor with Typhon. Let's jump in. Okay, so for this video, we're trying to pair our hardware wallet with Typhon. If you're trying to either make a brand new software wallet or restore a software wallet from something else into Typhon, check out our videos where we show you how to do that. But assuming you're in the right place, let's go ahead and continue and we're going to pair our hardware wallet with Typhon and we're going to be using our Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X. So let's go ahead and click on connect with Ledger and now here we need to select our wallet type. We can either do a single address wallet where all of our funds will always be sent to the same single address or what they call an HD wallet, which basically every time you make a new transaction, it gives you a new address to send to. For 99% of the people, the way that you're gonna wanna go is with a single address wallet. I highly recommend this. It makes transactions faster. It also makes accounting way easier at the end of the year when it comes to tax time to only just have to look at the balance on a single address versus a whole bunch of them. And if for some reason you're coming from a wallet that was utilizing multiple addresses and you wanna to move to the single address mode, then don't worry, we can always convert our wallet to single address mode and we'll actually show how to do that in this video. So let's go ahead and click on single address wallet and go ahead and plug in either your Ledger or your Trezor. Here's our Ledger Nano X. Let's click on connect, confirm on the device and Cardano is ready. Awesome. Now. We need to give this wallet a name. This can be anything we want and does not need to match the name that we used in a different app if you had paired this Ledger or Trezor previously. You can call it anything you want. We'll call this the Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X. And now we need to choose a password. This is not a spending password. This is the password you're gonna to choose to unlock the wallet just to be able to get into it and see your funds. When you need to authorize a transaction such as sending ADA or delegating, you'll still confirm it on the device. But this is just another layer of security to not even be able to view those funds and initiate those things unless you type this password in. So go ahead and enter a strong unlock password and we'll do the same. Agree to the terms and conditions and click continue. Okay, so now we've paired our Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X. If we look at Eternal where we had paired it previously, the balance is about 662 ADA. But if we go to receive, and let's copy one of these addresses and we come to Cardano scan, let's paste this in. This is an unused address, so it's got nothing in it. But if we click on view all addresses, we can see that for our Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X, there are three different addresses. One of them has 161 ADA in it and the other one has 500 ADA in it. Eternal right now is set up to be multi-address mode. So we see the full 662 reflected here. We only see part of it in Typhon. And that's what this warning is. HD wallet detected. Please convert your wallet to single address mode to utilize the full balance. This is so great because this single and multi-address thing confuses so many people. I love the fact that they have this pop-up for you right at the very beginning and lets you know, hey, not everything is being reflected, but here's how you can fix it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on settings and let's convert the HD account to a single address account and click convert. Awesome. So now what we see here that it's doing is it's taking all of our assets and all of our ADA across all of the addresses that correspond to this hardware wallet. And it's going to put them all into this one single address. So let's go ahead and confirm. Confirm it on the device as well. Great, so our transaction has been submitted. We can go ahead and click on home and wait for this transaction to go through. So let's go ahead and give this a second to actually post to the blockchain and then we'll go from there. Okay, awesome. So we see the transaction has posted to the blockchain and we now see our correct balance of 661. 0.410. And if we come back to Eternal, we can see here that it correctly reflects our balance of 661.41. Awesome. So we've now consolidated everything into one address. And it's going to make everything way easier moving forward. So that's for those of you that previously had this hardware wallet paired with another app. If this is a brand new hardware wallet and it has no funds in it, you're going to want to send your funds from your exchange to here. And you can do that by clicking copy address, go to the exchange, paste this address in and send your funds over. We always recommend if you've not done this before to do a test transaction first for just one or two ADA, make sure everything comes through the way that you expect. And then after that, you can send the balance. Cool, so now that we're all fully set up, let's actually go to dark mode here. Oh yeah, that's way nicer. Now that we're fully set up, there's a couple of things that we can do. In these next videos around me, you can check out how you can delegate to multiple stake pools using Typhon Wallet, how you can register for Project Catalyst, or if you really wanna level up and check out the power features that make the Typhon Wallet shine, we have a dedicated video for that. Let us know what you think about Typhon Wallet so far, and if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.